Poor, poor Erta. Doesn't know where she'll get her food and water. Welcome to the bill. Hey guys, Pete here. It's a bittersweet thing, but the trailer for the sixth and final season of The Expanse is here. There are officially 291 minutes of Expanse left, at least for now on Amazon, spread out over six episodes, and this official trailer makes it look like it's going to be a hectic ride. As a person that's somewhat obsessed with this book series, I can say that this looks promising as far as wrapping up this part of the story. The visual effects look amazing, it looks like there's going to be plenty of action, and if you're familiar with the novels, you can basically sketch out where things are going. I'm going to break everything down and tell you what I'm most excited about right after this quick spoiler warning. If you're not caught up with The Expanse through Season 5, then this video won't be for you. I will be mentioning the book series, but not giving away any future plot points. And with that out of the way, let's get into it. The trailer opens with Bobby Draper and Christian Abasarala talking on the surface of Earth, where things don't look great, and it looks like they're going to be getting worse as the season goes on. Avasarala is talking about how the people of Earth are wounded, how they're trying desperately to keep themselves going by pretending they're not. She's talking about the aftermath of Marco's rocks hitting the Earth in Season 5. And after a couple of shots of the crew on the Rossi, holding with Naomi, and a look at Clarissa in the med bay with Amos, we get a new shot of a different asteroid hitting Earth. That's followed by some footage of victims and an aerial view of New York City where you can still see how bad the flooding is. On the Tynan, we hear Joseph, who stayed with Drummer after the split with Marco, saying, Poor, poor Earther. Doesn't know where she'll get her food and water. Welcome to the belt. We see that things are getting worse and that some belters will see it that way, that this is Earth getting a taste of their own medicine. The interplanet governments and corporations have restricted access to water and air as a way to control the population. And they use that as a way to exploit the workers. And so you can imagine that some people will look at it that way. Then we go to Ceres where we see Marco ship the Pella and see him proclaim that Ceres will be the capital city of their Belter nation, a place where all Belters can forever call home. If it's been a while since you watched the early seasons, remember Ceres is where Miller was from. And in season 5 it was mentioned that Anderson Dawes was the governor there. The crowd of belters on hand seemed to be pretty pumped up listening to Marco talk. And we get a couple of shots of Philip, including one where he's with another belter around his age. This is a new character we've never met. Then we get a shot of Avasarala floating in a shuttle on her way back up to Luna. She looks happy, or at least comfortable in Zero G, which might be foreshadowing her staying close to some of the action this season, which kind of gives me mixed feelings if I'm being honest. I mean, obviously it's always nice to have her around, but you're also putting her in harm's way. She tells Bobby they've located Inaros' ship and that she's got a plan in mind. Then we see her coming aboard the Rossi with what I imagine is her power armor in tow. She tells the crew that the old lady thinks that the Rossi is the best option for her operation, which does track with the early part of the sixth book. And I'm glad to see her on the ship because that will keep her close to the action, which is a completely different situation than Avasarala. Initially, the crew don't appear thrilled about the operation. They don't look like they want to get involved necessarily. And Amos lightens things up, at least for us, when he asks if she's getting paid extra for this. I did read the episode descriptions and this all should be very early like first episode early and then some of these clips we see throughout the trailer are related to this mission there's a shot where we see the airlock opening with clarissa in a suit looking outside and then a shot of a rock that looks like it has a drive strap to it and we see holden checking that out there's a sequence with Holden and Amos boarding a ship and shooting the belter inside. While they're there, they pull up a display and are surprised to see that it's tracking the course of a lot of asteroids, which it looks like the Free Navy is continuing to hurl towards Earth. When Naomi asks what it is, Holden answers the mother load, and it does look like a ton of rocks. 
Drummer is the biggest mystery of this season, and we got a lot of her in this trailer. We see her coming back onto her ship, the Tynan, and then hear her saying that there's a war on to Joseph and Michio. We see that same battle scene interior shot from the teaser with the Tynan getting lit up and left with a hull that resembles Swiss cheese, and we hear a message saying, Captain Drummer, we were golden bound. Now we fight with you. So it sounds like some belters are going against the Free Navy and rallying to her side of the conflict. She meets with a new character, perhaps the Golden Bile Captain, and then there's this crazy looking raid they're involved in with a lot of people getting shot. Later in the trailer, we hear Kamina telling her crew slash family members that she never loved them because they were fighters. I loved you because you were builders. And it looks like they may be splitting up temporarily. On the Free Navy side of things, we see Marco with the new Rosenfeld character that I talked about in my last Expanse video, and we hear her say, a war will come soon enough. Later, we see her telling Philip that his father is better with him at his side, and we see them embrace, hinting that there's going to be some tension between those two throughout the season. There's a really interesting shot of them on a monitor, which is a scene that I recognize from the books. I won't spoil it, but you can see that they're in suits ready for battle on the Pella. That's followed with Naomi telling Holden she tried to save Philip, but she failed. And then we see him fire a torpedo. After that, Bobby says, in the end, the only thing that matters is fighting for who's covering your back. With a couple of shots of the crew where Naomi and Clarissa share a look that seems to signal everyone coming back together. As in, there's resolution to some of that tension that we heard about from the Comic-Con panel. The last bit of dialogue is Abasarala saying that she wants the belt to see what it's doing to us. I want them to see the lives we've lost, the pain we've suffered. And that's followed up at the end with her saying we need something to give us a reason to hope. There are a few fantastic shots in this thing that I know exactly what's happening from reading the books but can't say much about them in this video. There's a sequence of shipping containers pouring out of a hauler near the ring gate which looks fantastic. A shot of Bobby in her power armor that looks different than the one we saw in the teaser because she doesn't look like she's in the slow zone here. And then at the end of the trailer there's this little stinger of a character we haven't met on the show that's pulled from the novel Bella Strange Dogs. We see her look around and look at one of the titular gate builder tech animals and I couldn't help but laugh because the way that I pictured these things was pretty robotic based on things from our own world and this makes perfect sense considering all the other stuff we've seen related to that civilization and it will be cool to see how they weave this into the story of season 6. It's not terribly important for what's going on inside a soul system, but it does give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on outside of the ring gates. And at least where things were left at the end of season five, that was kind of cut off from the inner planets. There's a lot of stuff we don't see in this trailer. We don't see Bull at all, and there's really no other character that looks like they're taking up the pilot role. There's a ton of battle scenes and different things going on on the Rasanante, and we only see the core group of characters. Holden, Naomi, Amos, Clarissa, and Bobby. Some of those people can fly spaceships, but none of them are the same caliber of pilot that Alex was. And it did seem like they were setting up Bull to take over that role in Season 5. This could be a result of availability, and we'll have to see how they handle it because none of these characters really make sense, but they could probably make it work. We also don't see Oksana at all. Remember in the season 5 finale when Drummer went against the Free Navy in the battle with the Rocinante, part of her family left. I was thinking that there would probably be some conflict there, but like I said, we only see the people that stayed with her in this trailer. We also see quite a bit of series, including a sequence that looks like it might be under attack, and we don't see any shots with Anderson Dawes, who's played by Jared Harris. Like I mentioned earlier, we did hear Fred Johnson say in season 5 that he contacted Anderson Dawes at series, but the creators have said that it's difficult to get Jared Harris back because he works so much, so they may end up writing him out off screen. There are a couple of new Belter characters here, and it does look like there will be some serious devastation on Earth, which is a big part of the story that the show didn't really get into last season. 
There's a lot of interesting details in this thing, and just to say it again, the visual effects look amazing. I've talked about the short season and how that's disappointing in previous videos, but the one argument in favor of it was the increased budget per episode. Same amount of money with fewer episodes means you get to spend more on each one. There is so much space battle stuff going on here, and it does look expensive. And as far as what I was hoping to see, there aren't any crucial omissions. Looking at this trailer and reading the episode descriptions, I feel pretty confident. It'll be intense. Six episodes, they're gonna fly right by. They have an average runtime of 45 minutes each, with a longer finale at 63 minutes, but intense and rushed are not the same thing. And if the season turns out half as good as the trailer, we're in for a treat. And I think that's a great place to leave things. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the trailer, what you think about the upcoming season. If you want to talk book spoilers, that's great. I'm always down for that. Just be sure to mark them so they don't spoil things for non-book readers. Was there anything missing here? Anything you wanted to see? And let me know what stood out, what made you most excited. Please like this video if you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And thanks for watching. I'll talk to you soon.